So we can kind of tell already that uh, Amita and Sabal have a little bit of differences of opinion. Sabal was like, oh, dude, look who it is. It's son of Mohan. And she couldn't have cared any less, even if she didn't try. So, you know, it's something to keep in mind here. However, it looks like to be a collectible on here. And I will collect it. Let's go ahead and sell this bad boy as we unlock weapons. Ooh, we got an SVD. We got a sniper rifle already. Oh my god, why do I have so many things unlocking? What the shit? <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's sell it all. Actually, I can just do it here. Quick sell. Boom. What can I buy and customize? Body armor. I don't care about that too much at this moment. So the only important sidearm is the M79. Um, well, I guess for the time being, if I have this, I'll equip it. So I think it was... Oh, no, I can only assign one weapon at a time now. That's right. So I probably shouldn't get <laughs> the SVD. PKM is alright. Does it have more accuracy than the AK? Yeah, it does. Okay. I will get you in my grasp. And then we'll. What kind of scopes can we get? Red dot sight? How much money do I have? 101k? Yeah, screw it. Why not? And you can always, you know, customize the color. So I should probably also refill my ammo. And then, you know, safe houses. Basically just saying that safe houses are for all of the, uh, you know, Golden Path members. But you're the only Golden Path member that matters. So take it as it is. And we have uh, one skill point. So we have the elephant and the tiger. Now the elephant, uh, as you probably guess, is more or less, I guess, it with like syringes and just a lot of other like passive things. Whereas the tiger is all of your uh, combat shit. So right off the bat, we're gonna go ahead and get an additional health slot because that'll be pretty handy. And we can craft immediately a new wallet. Now, important to note is that just like Far Cry 3, the last upgrade for a certain thing will require special materials. However, this isn't as simple as just going to a billboard and accepting a mission to find a rare monster. Uh, instead, in this, there's a whole quest line dedicated to stuff like that, but we'll get into that later. And then here you can see the map clouded from everything. We have uh, a few new features as well, because you know we have all the outposts and it tells you how many alarms they have, the difficulty. And then we also have the fortresses. Now, the way fortresses work, as it kind of says here, it, it has a difficulty. And you either weaken the fortress by playing campaign or you can bring in a co-op partner to make it a little bit easier. However, a little bit of stealth, a little bit of care, and having a good arsenal is about all you really need. So, I guess let's just go see what the ball's up to. <gasps> Give him some morphine! And turn off that fucking radio! What happened to him? He fell! Pagan floods the airways and we have to enjoy his bullshit. Enough is enough! I told him to climb up the old bell tower, take over the transmitters, hijack the broadcast locally. Except... I can do it. Way to step up, brother. There's nobody guarding it, but it's a tricky climb. Promise me you won't fall. I promise. I won't. Besides, even if I fall, this respond to the checkpoint before I fell. 
Now I want to say that's where we got to go to. Yeah, there we go. So, radio tower. You know the drill. Uh, we could do that. But why do that when we could be rad boys and fucking sky glide? What? So that is right, sky gliding? Sounds about right. Uh, now, just as well with uh, Far Cry 3, there are certain things that will just kind of reset your FOV, and you'll have to somehow fix it. Like, for instance, in this game, if I get a rough landing on this thing, which is bound to be the case, or, or not, then sometimes you'll have to, uh, like, enter a car or something like that in order to bring your FOV back to what it's supposed to be, or, like, go through a door. Which is a little bit more irritating than it has to be, but oh well. Now, I remember watching my friend play this a little bit on his, uh, his Xbox. And trying to play a game like this with default FOV made me, like, the sickest person in the world, and I don't know why. Don't need a med kit. Can we search the body? We can. Give me all of the money that you don't have. Camera lens, I can sell that for something. And just in a typical Ubisoft fashion, we have the towers we gotta climb. And we have a grapple thing here. Oh, that, uh, <laughs> I was a little further up than I anticipated. I probably could have just grabbed onto the, the cliff. I want to try to keep this thing here. Uh, when you hear a sound like that, watch out. Because you will most likely uh, be stepped into the attack zone. And you can connect from one grapple to the next. Wait, is there enemies in there? There is. So we'll just shoot down this beehive. I hope they won't come over towards me. I don't care about this guy so much, but the bees, I have an issue with. Bees are freaking obnoxious. Find the source of the danger and eliminate it. No, don't come over here. I'm not the source you're looking for. <laughs> That's longer a problem. Hopefully they got rid of the bees for me, though. And we have some propaganda posters, one of 150. Okay, yeah, those bees killed this guy. Now the annoying part about bees is that like they just like never stop. Well, thanks for telling me this now. So just your typical stuff. Go to the top, hijack the signal, and you get some more. You know, you get to see part of the map. Yeah, bees will just kind of, like, constantly attack you and kind of just, like, stop you from doing whatever it is you're trying to do in the first place. And it's really obnoxious, so I'd recommend, uh, like, only attack them if you have to, which you sometimes have to. Like, you're climbing up a tower and they're just in the way. Just skip that whole walking section. And you have to deal with, uh, hearing other random shit all the time as you're climbing up these, because, you I mean, it is radio signals, I guess. Uh, these aren't really nearly as bad to climb as the radio towers in Far Cry 3, mostly because there's a nice structure to these. You're never really crisscrossing over things, uh, so the radio towers in that game. So, not nearly as bad, which is nice for plenty of reasons. Well, we still get some stick loot either way, and by that I mean we just get some decent money. So that's one of 17 liberated. And in typical Far Cry liberating things fashion, we are now going to get to see what's around. Uh, you know, usually you'll see like loot boxes or some kind of collectibles. What the fact these guys are just fucking up this person's house. Or here. Where you see that, that thing that flashed, that's another collectible. And we have a 
Golden Pass Supplies mission here. And it also marks these things on your map. So, we'll give these a check. Which, I mean, I guess this one's... Whoa, right here. Oh my god. Well, I guess let's see what Gopal's up to. Hello? Vin, is that you? There's nobody here by that name. Damn it. He's overdue. Who is this? AJ Gale. And who is this? AJ Gale? One moment. Ah, AJ. Right, I know who you are. I'm Gopal, the Golden Pass. We could use your help. My unit handles supply drops for the cause, but I'm short-handed here. The Royal Army is resupplying troops in the area. I'm sending you the coordinates for the drop site now. Grab the packages before the Royal Army can secure them. What's in the packages? Supplies. Things we can use. Okay, I'll get your stuff. So now, we gotta do this guy's stupid missions. Oh, I do really like this uh, set of missions. And I, no, I think that's just another zipline. I thought it was uh, more important than that. It's not. Yeah, there's a certain uh, feature in this game they added that uh, makes A, traversing a whole lot easier, and B, makes me the happiest little boy. For that reason and others. Now, as well as having those supplies here, we also have some other stuff. Ah, oh, dude, not the fellow drinkers. Like, that's the equivalent of being like, hello, fellow gamers. Search the dead body. I'm gonna just check with my, uh, my path of, of going here, so I don't think there's any cars around here. Whatever, I will take this herb. Also, I did have a skill point, it looks like. I have two. Now, I could get that next thing of health, but what's this? Automatically loot, knife throw, take down, death from above, running reload, moving target. I'll just go with the extra health. It's probably better in the, uh, the long run. I got the first package. Great! One more to go. Good luck. <sighs> Alright, so I don't think there's a time limit on this. But some of these you have a time limit. I don't know if it's after you get all the supplies normally. I guess I'll figure it out as I go. And I know usually I like to kind of be a little bit refreshed about a game before I go into it, but I just felt like playing it, and I mean, it's one of those games that as I play it, I'll probably be like, oh, hey, this is what's going to happen next, so I won't feel too bad about it. And I mean, these first couple episodes will always be a little, you know, rough. Because there's a lot of cutscenes, I can't really do much, a lot of talking. But thankfully, this game kind of throws you into it pretty quickly. Uh, okay. Just little, little things. I got really scared when I heard that noise. Okay, we have a ATV over here, so. Getting these to go, Paul, will be no problem. Before we do that, we have a few collectibles and loot boxes here. That sounds like a new animal. <laughs> Who cares about the, the double skin? That thing was gonna eat me eventually. Search you. I wanna say that's uh, another poster. That this is marking? Yeah. Now the thing with posters is that like they don't really have any sort right, of like physics attached to them, let's say. Like, let's say you jump in the air and you have the opportunity to, um, uh, what you call it? Like, you have the opportunity to grab it while you're in the air, you will just like stand in the air and rip it down. So, driving is just as odd as it is in Far Cry 3. However, you now have the ability to auto drive. And also drive and shoot in general. Now, if I push shift, I think it is, yeah, it'll pop up things saying auto drive no signal. Which, you know, once I'm on the main road, it will, you know, detect the signal and it will follow the main road and kind of, you can like direct it a little bit so like it follows the right path. But, um, 
it's not the best. You, you basically become an AI at that rate because you'll try to go and you'll run into something and you'll just like continuously fall down, like, you know, bump into it and back up and try to go into it again. Uh, I hope I didn't screw myself here when I think I might have. Just trying to get here. Unless I'm supposed to be all the way to shit up here. But it also allows you to shoot and drive without having to worry too much about it, which is nice. Ah, oh, shit. I think I really fucked the... everything up on this one. This is what I get for trying to pay attention to describing things that don't matter right now. Oh yeah, I was... I was way off. I hope I can redo it from, like, grabbing it. I think. Hopefully. What a train wreck. Ah, piss off. Well, you really want some of this too? Okay. And I could probably knock, not knife. Thank you, Ajay. I'll make sure these get in the right hands. Just leave them at the door. I can't come in? We're preparing a top secret operation in here. Sorry, orders are orders. I can't let anyone inside. Oh, there's that. Weird man, Goldfall. Now we'll go ahead and skin these, uh, whatever these were. I, I didn't pay attention to the name. And, uh, I heard, I'm hearing some violence around here. Like, a lot of violence. What the hell is going on? Yeah, that's one way to deal with the situation. Alright, fine. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Let's see if we can't loot these uh, loot things without burning ourselves. Oh, hell yeah, open the door. Space rock. Better be worth freaking millions. The right path. I don't know about that one. I like how it keeps doing like the dinner noise. Ah, huh, now everything's done burning, I guess. Ooh, we got three uh, skill points right here. Oh, did I? Oh, because I guess I never technically got this because I died. What can I craft? Bait bag. Do I, I don't think I have anything right now that requires dull skin. Okay, I guess I'll go for it. Now our home base is back there. Well, I might as well get the double skin for this while I can. Now some enemies, of course, you go, you know, go figure. It's a little bit tougher to get the, the double skin, like a bear or like a leopard or something. We're gonna fuck up this badger though. This honey badger don't give a, a god dang, I guess is the uh, correct term. Like, I'm pretty sure the only through the honey badger in this game, just to make that reference. And uh, when you kill a bird, dude, nothing really happens. However, that fucking thing needs to get out of here. Like, some people couldn't even play this game without getting attacked by, like, the eagle every 25 seconds. Uh, I'll take what you got. You're gonna charge at me, so you'll just get gunned down. Like, I'm not fucking around. Like, this isn't America. I don't have to worry about becoming Bobby Schmurda on some animals right here. And I can also craft something. <laughs> and of course, we have to keep the ah in here about everything. Uh, I guess I can still upgrade. And then syringe. What is this? Sketch training. I feel like there there should be one about. Oh, well, I guess the the double carve. 
doesn't matter in this game. I will take Harvester though. The whole point of that was to go to crafting to begin with. Two wild boar, two wild boar. We'll go with that. If it comes down to, oh, I only have to kill one more boar now. And I can just gun it down. Yeah. So this is what you have to deal with. Time and time again. Well, it's dead now. So I feel a little better. Just a little though. Black eagle feathers. It's pretty metal. What up fam? Now, I could have just fast traveled here because that is a feature. But... I'd figure I'd just kind of, you know, show a little bit of the happenings of Karat while I'm here. Unless that way I can have fun with the grappling hook again. As the rope just kind of goes through the rock with no... with reckless abandon, really. Like, it doesn't fucking matter what it is, it's just gonna go through it. So there's that. So do you feel like do you feel good about yourself that I basically still beat you up here, even though you had a damn car? It's a terrifying voice singing. So we'll go ahead and sell our stuff and refill on ammo and then we're gonna call it for now. Alright, get rid of it. Mom's note. Oh. Well, I can, uh, oh, well, it says keep, so I guess I'll keep it. Refill, and all right, that'll about do it for this first session of Far Cry 4. You know, I hope you guys are ready for a long one, because uh, this or Saints Row 4 is going to, like, take the crown as my longest LP. Because I think right now that's, is it Saints Row the third that's the longest? I think it still has the record. Because I think I did Saints Row 3 after Far Cry 3. So, yeah. It's one of the two. It's one way or another. So it's time to make that artificial length so it's a little bit longer, if you know what I'm saying. You know, just make, like, two-minute episodes and just, you know, keep uploading them. It would be, be perfect. Great idea. Terrible. Terrible. Awful. Don't, don't listen to me. So until next time, I'm Trentia. And I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you next time.